Welcome sa zip9.com uh, In this video ay mag-aaral na natin kung paano mabag-calculate ng four operations kung saan sama-sama na sila, no? Uh, before ay nag-add lang tayo, then nag-subtract nag, uh, um, and of course, we multiply and divide separately pero dito, tingnan natin kung paano natin i-calculate yung mga iba't ibang operations, no? Pagsabay-sabay na sila. So, for example, sa number 1, uh, 9 plus 8 times 2. By the way, kung meron tayong apat na operations, ang priority natin ay multiplication and division muna bago tayo mag-add and subtract. So, pag meron tayong mga ganito, unahin muna natin itong dalawang operations na ito bago itong dalawang operations na ito. So, bigyan natin ng example para mas lalang maintindihan. No? So, 9 plus 8 times 2, no? So, dito, ang uunahin natin, based dito sa rule na to ay yung times, no? yung may multiplication. So, magiging, ang A times 2 ay magiging 16. So, 9 plus, magiging 9 plus 16. So, as is yung 9 and then the plus sign, inuna muna natin to. Ngayon, pag inuna natin itong 9 plus 8, iba magiging sagot niya, no? Anyway, sagutan muna natin, 9 plus 16 is 25, no? Pag inuna natin itong plus, magiging 9 plus 8, 17, Pagiging times 2 is 34. So that's wrong, no? The correct answer is 25. Dapat unahin muna yung multiplication and division over addition and subtraction. Number 2, 8 minus 12 divided by 4. Again, mas na unang division kaysa sa subtraction. So magiging 8 minus 12 divided by 4 is 3, which is equal to, 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Again, pag iniba natin yung order, pag inuna natin yung minus, magiging negative 4 divided by 4, magiging negative 1 yung sagot niya. But the correct answer is 5. Okay? Number 3. This time, meron tayong parenthesis, no? At sa loob ng parenthesis, merong operation. So, pag may parenthesis, mas nauna yung parenthesis over dito sa mga to, no? So, ibig sabihin, mas na una ang parenthesis mas nasa taas siya, no? Okay. So nandito ang p sa taas, mas na una. Doon sa apat na operations. Ibig sabihin, gagawin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis bago tayo mag-operate yung nasa labas. So magiging 4 times ano yung nasa loob ng parenthesis magiging negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. So, 4 times negative 7 is equal to negative 28. Notice na dito may parenthesis. Anong pagkakaiba ng parenthesis na to tsaka ito sa parenthesis na to? Itong parenthesis na to, para lang siya dun sa minus sign. Pero itong parenthesis na to, grouping yan. At yung minimin natin dito is grouping. Ibig sabihin ng grouping, merong operation sa loob. It's either, it's either nagpa-plus ka, nagma-minus ka, nagta-times ka, or nagde-divide. Dito nagma-minus tayo. Dito wala tayong ginagawa sa loob. That's just to separate the negative sign. No? So, ang sinasabi natin na parenthesis dito yung merong operation sa loob. So, huwag kayo malilito. Okay? So, number 4. We have negative 14 divided by negative 3 plus 5. Again, meron tayong parenthesis. So, we have, unahin muna natin itong nasa loob. Magiging negative 14 divided by what is negative 3 plus 5 that's positive 2 and negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7 okay so number 5 we have exponent no tayo exponent this time pag-aaralan natin natin kung paano mag mag uh, expand ng exponential form so 18 Pag meron tayong exponent, mas mauna siya sa division saka sa multiplication. Nandito ang exponent. Kapantay siya ng uh, parenthesis. Malalaman natin kung siya mas priority sa sunod, na, sa sunod na number dito. So, 18 divided by 9 times 4, no? Now, ito yung karaniwang pagkakamali ng mga ano, estudyante. No? Kar karaniwa nakala nila unahin muna yung multiplication sa division. That's not true, no? Pag may multiplication at division ka, nawala, nawala kang addition and subtraction in between, you work from left to right. 
So, hindi mo unahin yung multiplication dito. Unahin mo yung 18 divided by 9 kasi mula sa kaliwa pa kanan ka. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2. No? And then times 4 is equal to 8. Pag inuna mo ito, may iba yung sagot niyan. Magiging uh, 9 times 4 is 36. 18 divided by 36 is 0 0.5 or 1 half. Okay? Kailan, kailan unahin yung uh, division over multiplication? Pag walang signs in between. Walang plus, walang minus. Minus, uh, div uh, division lang, tsaka multiplication. Ngayon, kung nauna naman yung multiplication dito, uunahin mo. So, from left, from left to right ito. From left to right. Whichever comes first, pag magkasama silang dalawa. Ganon din dito, from left to right yan. Kahit na una yung subtraction mo, pag walang in-between na at Walang, walang multiplication and division in between. Magpa-plus. Magsasubtract ka muna bago ka mag-add. Okay, number six. We have uh, negative five plus eight. May exponent tayo, tapos meron tayong parenthesis. Ano ang mas nauna? Parenthesis, exponent. Unahin muna natin ito sa loob kasi hindi tayo pwede mag- raise sa exponent kung hindi pa natin ito nakakombine. So, magiging negative 5 plus 8 squared plus 4 is equal to magiging 3 ito. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. Magiging squared plus 4. And then 3 squared is 9 plus 4 which is equal to 13. So, mas priority yung parenthesis, no? Merong mas priority natin yung parenthesis over exponent. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na PEMDAS, no? At dyan natin uh, ipapattern yung ating calculation every time na mag-calculate tayo ng sabay-sabay. Okay? So, una, parenthesis first, and then exponent, number three, pag-multiplication and division na magkasama uh, from left to right, Pag uh, addition and subtraction magkasama from left to right. Pero pag multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, mas mauna yung multiplication, division over, addition, and subtraction. Okay? From these examples. Marami pa tayong examples na susunod, ano? Kaya huwag kayo malito. Ang pwede nyo puntahan yung series natin on PEMDAS.